Hi, I'm George Woodbury from the College of Sequoias in Visalia, California, and in this video we're going to go over the graph of the relation x equals y squared. Now this is not a function, and we'll talk about why that is in a moment. I've set up a table of values, um, and here I've got values for y. We're going to substitute for y and find the value of x that goes with them. So again, x equals y squared. For 0, 0 squared is 0. So we've got the point 0, 0 on this graph. When y is 1 or negative 1, when we square that, 1 squared is the same as negative 1 squared, which is 1. So we've got a point at 1, 1, but also 1, negative 1. When y is plus or minus 2, plus or minus 2, both, either one of those raised to the second power is going to give us 4. So that's 4, 2, and 4, negative 2. 4, 2, and 4, negative 2. And finally, with plus or minus 3, when we square that, we're going to get 9. So that's 9, 3, and 9, negative 3. 9, negative 3 and 9, negative 3, like that. It looks like the x squared function, except it's going to the right instead of up. So something like this. Again, make sure it's rounded at that turning point. Now, this is not a function because if we draw, say, a vertical line right here, it crosses the graph at two points. And so that means that it's not a function. In terms of domain for this relation, it goes to the left, it goes to zero, but it goes on forever to the right. So that's square bracket zero comma infinity. But the range is the set of all real numbers because we have an arrow heading upward, slowly to the right, but upward. And we have an arrow moving downward to the right as well. Right. That is the relation x equals y squared, really similar to um, y equals x squared, but again, the ordered pairs are inverted and the graph heads to the right instead of up. 